We are here, yeah we are here, on the border of the circus. I cloud around a bit too much at a round robin event called BB Gen 3 playing all my characters and spent way too much time on the thumbnail. Enjoy! Welcome my friends to yet another Blaze Blue video, this time with BB Gen 3, which was organized by the main Blaze Blue Discord. And this is a round robin format in first to three sets. Sadly, it wasn't organized perfectly, so we had quite a few DQs, as it was banned over a long time frame, which was weird to say the least. But uh, yeah, except for Afraid Cars, I was able to play everyone in the round robin format, and I start off against Cheese K. I've played this uh, player before in the Maho Chojo Nui Weekly and there it was a fairly close game. I opened with two fairly close uh, um, bang games where I got outmatched unfortunately. I still have gun for the bang in this match, in this particular match, just to see if I made any improvements. But I haven't really played him that much so uh, yeah, it doesn't really seem like it. Also, there's no elo on the line. This is also why this is not a Way of the Wyvern video, but just a regular uh, Blaze Blue video. No elo on the line, no way to become the very best for my character or anything, which also frees me up to play a different character. As you have seen in the thumbnail, I am playing the entire circus today. And. Uh, yeah, agreeable burst from me there, but there's not really much. Yeah, I get... Do I get the... No, I, I dropped the uh, expert combo uh, 10 from the trials. Again, this is not even optimal. I would have to do lots of work with Bang if I want to make him a proper sub for my Kagura. I'm not so sure these days anymore as I've seen to make more progress with different characters but yeah you will see more about that later on but now i switch to my signature hero personally uh i mean you will see but i i don't feel like i've been playing that hot that day of course in that sense it's good that this was spent over different days so uh if you have an off day of course then uh you don't get punished too hard on the other hand if you if you have a good day then you can't get profit all that much from it, right? And in general, for everyone who doesn't know, the Mai uh, Kagura matchup definitely one of the more difficult ones, because Mai can zone you out quite well. I don't get the punish there, I should have gotten the punish there. As you see, as I said, I didn't play too hot. Okay, classic reset. But I'm too far away for the combo to work normally, but I get the blue bleed anyway, which is nice. Okay. Ah, they mesh out. Unfortunate. Ah! C5 with but okay, I get the 5C for no reason. Okay, this was scuffed. To say the least. So if I'm one round up. Ah, no combo. I should have comboed there. Those hits matter so much with Kagura. Again, no pickup. Or rather, I was too greedy with the pickup. Went for the 6C, which was too slow there. You can pick up with 6C, but the window is fairly tight. Okay, I wrap it there, but I get hit by the overhead, and it's Jova. This route is Jova. Yeah, I'm trying to sound like the cool kids, except I'm not. I'm just a lonely old man playing Kagura. <laughs> Overcompensating with the big sword. Okay, drops the combo. And gets him back in the corner. And nice by one snipe. We are so back in this agreeable burst. not death but it's a bad position. Linvum connecting, we love to see it. There's no better feeling in this world. Ah, no pick up. Yeah, that's something that happens a lot. Uh, if you think they will block and then you're not ready. 
and you die in the Shirish, then you're pretty much screwed. And actually that missed, a crucial mistake uh, cost me the game and thus also lots of momentum. Because if I have gotten that game, I'm sure that uh, yeah, the momentum could have carried me a lot. But if you don't get... I'm especially uh, I'm guilty of that. If I don't get the momentum, then I can play... Yeah, then I can get li left behind pretty hard, but I still get a good start in this in this game. So let's see how, how this goes. Of course, I know all the results, uh, so... <laughs> Hard to not stay uh, biased because I still got specific feelings about specific matches. And of course, specific feelings against specific matchups. That was a one hell of a clash. It was amazing, but yeah, it didn't do anything for me, unfortunately, so I had to have to cancel. Dive kicks. Ah, okay. Get sniped with the projectile. Very nice from Cheesecake so far. Also, you've seen that scoreboard a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm still thinking of changing it up again. But uh, Kagura Sim's scoreboard f uh, seems very fitting for this channel. I didn't want to use uh, Mahu's scoreboard for this one, as. Uh, oh, connection was lost. Yeah, exactly. The match where I had some more uh, momentum. The, mom, uh, the connection got lost, but okay, I'm not complaining because this match was momentum, but I failed to get the pick up. No. Okay, just zoning me out and then getting this, uh, uh, yeah, trying to fish for the tipper of the spare plunge. I don't know the special move name, unfortunately. Okay, nice for uh, see for me. I'm still in this. Okay, actually, why am doing what is supposed to be? to do against that move. <laughs> Normally uh, the spare hit, uh, hits it out. Like it can, Wyvern can even get hit out by stuff like uh, Gauntlet, not Gauntlet Hades, by Hel Hell's Fang from Ragnar. So actually no, neither trading nor getting hit out of is very good. Yeah, that that's will hurt. It's already 4k, 5k. So yeah, uh, my pretty much got everything. And another lost round. You hate to see it. And again, f with the snipe, I'm not patient enough for those, apparently. Because, yeah, all my rounds start fairly well. But for some reason, I am not able to close out the game so far. Oh no, I got, got grabbed. Didn't tech. Okay, we just wanted to get them off my, off me. Yeah, agreeable. Nah, I'm not sure if that was agreeable, actually, because that game could, uh, that burst could cost them the game. Uh, what was that Wyvern? My opponent was so close, and then Wyvern anyway. Yeah, and so Cheesecake takes this game from me. Also, to spoil a little bit, Cheesecake did win the entire event. I'm, I'm, I think that's because my next opponent, Chrono, also DQ'd for some matches. So Chrono would definitely be the favorite to win this round robin. But uh, yeah, he only made second. But let's see if this was uh, despite me winning or if he actually won against me. So. Um, we have played a bit before, and uh, so on the Kagura birthday stream, maybe you ha might have seen that one. Um, I played a few sets against him, and it was fairly even. Pretty much any set going down to the wire, and I think we won equally much, or maybe they won a little bit more. I don't remember that well anyway. But uh, yeah, none of that. Uh, is shown in this match. I get completely mauled by Chrono, the skill gap is real. Um, but we won't get discouraged with this because Kagura doesn't need skill, so we don't care about any gaps in skill. <laughs> this is at least one way to put it. Okay. Okay, I didn't get uh, 
to pick up but get a reset anyway. Still, there's definitely something that I need to work on. Getting the real pickups, both for uh, when I hit with uh, 2B and when I uh, hit with JC. Because again, uh, leaving damage down on the table with Kagura, especially that much, like I wouldn't really care if I use a somewhat suboptimal combo and leave uh, about 300 500 damage on the table. But a few thousand, that is huge. That is actually crucial. And yeah, I get them to about half health, but that's all about it. So Chrono takes the first game very convincingly. Can I make the comeback? Oh no. Okay. See, Fuff. Get some off me. It's actually one of the reasons why I believe the Lambda matchup is better than the new matchup because Lambda players will eventually get in. And you can at the very least get your turn back or reset to neutral when uh, you land a C Fafnir. And of course, depending on the meter, you can still get like 3k damage if you've got a 100 meter, and that can secure you the round. I think in this round I only got single hits and Steve off me like not a single combo landed. Finally. Yeah. I keep it short and simple, but it wasn't enough to kill, at least. But next hit will kill and I get the Sea Fafnir. The anti-air Sea Fafnir is a rare one. Like uh, the reversal Sea Fafnir is pretty common. But anti-air with that move is obviously uh, pretty risky and ballsy. Oh no, and I failed to get another of those combos where I would have to uh, press 6B to convert the JC. Okay. I mean, I still got the commanding lead and they potentially worse. Uh, yeah, they wasted the uh, overdrive there. So I'm on a very in a very good position here. Of course I am I'm too greedy for the Wyvern probably right now. I'm patient enough and that could cost me the game here. Yeah, I think I wanted to get down there with Wyvern and yeah, I burst in a very bad position and Chrono takes it back. So we are even on rounds in the second game. It's a very crucial mistake from my part there. But I get a good, st a good start on this one. And B op is pretty good against opponents who like to delay tech like that. Yeah, I'm, I get the combo, but the problem is that I overused A orb. At that point, I have to go into uh, the route without A orbing again. And I get this game, and even with a perfect here. Very nice, very nice. Well done, Black Knight. I knew you could do it. I'm talking to Kagura, by the way, because I believe in Kagura. I don't believe in myself, but I just need to believe in Kagura. <laughs> Bro is goated. Yeah, sometimes I have to uh, sum. I don't know anything to say. Yeah, I mean, you may have noticed, but this one is pretty much my favorite of all the bunch that I, the music that I have on here. And I think I will experiment in the future with not using my uh, uh, music from other artists and put the game music in there just to save some time and maybe get some more different videos out. And yeah, I'm in a bad spot here. And this should be game? Question mark? No, it's not. But almost. Like, yeah, they, was ex they were expecting the Y1, so they three seed there. Lambda 3C is very good. And as we all know, uh, Y1 gets low crushed by 3Cs all across the board. Almost any character. There are definitely some characters that don't have a 3C that do that, like Rarius. 
but most of the car uh, cars can. And yeah, agreeable burst. You don't want to take uh, uh, 5k damage. Not with the character with low health like uh, Lambda. And oh, Spike Chaser. A little bit too greedy there from Chrono. But I didn't uh, convert good well enough. Still get the round, so all it's good that it ends well, but still need to be careful in choosing the correct route and to not leave too much damage out of, out of the table. But at the very least, it's not one of those crucial I didn't confirm early on. Okay, I was expecting the low, so I blocked the low in the last second and got hit by the overhead. That's one of the things that we can do in Wrecker. Either go low or high. Ah! Uh, overhead on wake up. Classic for pretty much any character. I uh, didn't expect it. Get hit, uh, put in the corner for it. This uh, round looks very demanding from Chrono. Especially as they also were in active flow. They would have been able to get the burst back pretty soon. But it doesn't matter as they close out the second game. And we are. This is potentially the last game of this first to three round uh, uh, set. But maybe I can make something happen here. Again, Chrono, one of the best, if not the best, uh, Lambda in Europe. So losing here doesn't feel as bad if it comes to that. Um, again, Cheese K, I had different feelings because, yeah, I've been doing pretty g uh, good against Hoon the other day and then GSK just mauled at me, wasn't, yeah, <laughs> still didn't get over it. But yeah, a perfect from Chrono, you hate to see it or you love to see it, depending on how you stand on the Kagura gauntlet. Uh, there's a surprisingly uh, high amount of hate for this character. Because, yeah, people think he's bad, but they still hate him, just because he robs. But he's the most handsome robber of the cast, if I may say so myself, so... Yeah, usually people like bad boys, don't they? Ooh, but this round is all really nice. Let's go! Okay, they block the Kadamos. No punish, though. That's unsafe on, on block. So usually you should only do it if you have a rapid cancel. So I was a little bit too greedy there. Didn't get punished for it. Okay, so let's see. Can I get another match here? Game, rather. Okay. But I get my burst back pretty soon as well. Hopefully I don't get baited. Or do the bad burst then. Yeah. Okay. Burst was good enough, but as you see, 3C from Lambda low crushing me. I'm too Wyvern trigger happy. But again, it's only a problem when it gets punished, so I need to adjust. I need to be better at adjusting if, uh, at, against which player I abuse Wyvern. But yeah, 6A trading with JC, normally good for me, but in this case it's not. Chrono takes it over me. Next up, we are against Toby Sin, and I'm going Ragnar this time. And yeah, the story for everyone who doesn't know, um, uh, I'm not super good with, mo with motions, especially the P-motion. And even more so, I play Ragnar on, on a levelless device, and I'm not that accustomed to that device yet. So that's essentially the reason why I picked him up in the first place is that he felt familiar enough for me that it wasn't like, oh, I'm learning a completely different game or character or anything, but I, it, he was different enough that I wouldn't feel frustrated when I wouldn't be able to perform well. So that's why I picked Ragnar. And I'm off with, to a, uh, with a very strong uh, first round. Uh, Death Spike getting uh, <laughs> evaded by Platinum's JC. Okay, misses the combo there. Probably might have taken me back to the presence. Okay, Mummy Circular, such an ignorant move. It's uh, essentially Gauntlet Hades on steroids. 
I mean, look at the damage from that. The combo wasn't even finished and that was 3.5k from an overhead. That can cross up. Lamisa, killer! Okay, Inferno Divider. I had the Rapid Cancel in there. Didn't help, but it didn't burst my, ba uh, my burst at the very least. So yeah, strong round from Toby there. Okay. Another strong start from Toby. Let's see if we can keep it up. Okay, tries to reset with Swallow Moon. Gets the other funny uh, butt overhead. Ah, didn't get the punish here on the Marmot Circular and I dropped the combo. Unfortunate. Okay. Good combo. Puts me in a tough spot. Okay, nice. I get some with the JB. Uh, okay, I'm close enough. And I decide to not take the extra damage and get better Oki. Didn't really matter as I rolled out. Ah, okay. I try to go for the overdrive punish. Okay. And yeah, I get the exit axle here. Which is weird though, because that wasn't the uh, uh, yeah that wasn't the enhanced version, and I still didn't get active load. Doesn't matter as I still take the round, but that's weird. Another match against Toby. I mean, rather the second game. Let's see how this work, uh, plays out. Okay, no punish again. Ah, too bad. Again, I need to punish Mummy Circular as that move is pretty strong and yeah, if you don't discourage your opponent from using a strong move then obviously they're gonna abuse it further on. Damn, this round all Toby's in, but at the very least I get a hit in here. I'm not punishing again, ah, I'm so bad. But yeah, Toby's in taking this round, very nice, well played from him. Can I take uh, two more rounds to take this game? Or will I get defeated this game? I'm sorry. Okay, nice mesh out for me there. Getting all those small hits. Okay, yeah. Uh, now they're tasting their own medicine. I use Gauntlet Hades <laughs> for all those mummy circulars I ate. Okay, the cat stick is pr pretty strong, and apparently they even uh, can convert if they have, have enough meter. Ah, I tried again to get the overdrive, uh, overdrive evasion, and this was a quick game for Toby. I'm a little bit too greedy with his overdrive uh, dodges. Don't really know where to use them, but essentially this is one thing that I've taken away from a set against uh, Ray, is that I should use Overdrive a little bit more and uh, and burst a little bit less. Okay, stagger pressure into uh, grab, the classic. Now I have a commanding lead and I'm in the corner. Okay, good bad usage there. This is kinda a pseudo DP from uh, from uh, Platinum. So it's only one button and it does, I believe it does everything that the DP does, but it's not that great anyway. Okay, nice. Ah, I drop it. Why did I drop it? Yeah, I went for the wrong buttons there. I should have used a 6A instead of 5C. But I get the 2A anyway, otherwise it would have been very unfortunate. Still pretty bad drop anyway, because they got a little bit of burst ga uh, gauge back, which isn't something that we want. Abusing 6B with Ragnar is a pretty good button and it's very easy to use as you can see. Like this is not the optimal route, the optimal route involves using 6D into a uh, into with JD, into uh, dash, into micro dash and stuff. I can't do that consistently. Pretty much at all with levelers so far. 
Bare de her Okay Is this time I get to punish? Okay, it was a little bit easier because I moved right in my face I still have burst on the table I'm probably, yeah, I'm looking for overdrive again <laughs> I get a little bit too Too greedy, but I get the exit axle for 4k, which is nice And another JC uh, secures me the second game This is looking surprisingly good for my Ragnar Again, my all my subs are not that strong and usually I considered uh, Ragnar my second strongest sub like Bang is my strongest and then Ragnar comes after it definitely better than my Hakuman because with Hakuman essentially I don't know the routes that I would need to really uh, capitalize of all those situations so even if I can play a good defensive neutral game that doesn't really amount to much if all I get is like a few just a little bit Okay, with the JB and uh, not JB, 6B, I believe, the funny overhead, and my punch wasn't severe enough, definitely. I wasted overdrive again, but still, because I take so much damage with low health, and so I'm on active flow, and you see this, uh, my, uh, my burst gosh filling up like crazy, and I've almost got it back going into the second round of this game. So not so crucial mistakes there. Okay, nice enter air from them. Essentially a problem I have in any game with any uh, character is I jump too much or rather I try to go with jump aerials too much. And yeah, if people are good at enter air then they can put me into lots of trouble. Another easy conversion, but yeah, weird uh, spacing, so I didn't get full deal. A gauntlet Hades, not uh, using the second hit and going into the uh, into the throw, is another low uh, low level technique that works out surprisingly often. <laughs> okay, I tried to get the cheeky cross up then. For the biggest conversion, probably should have just done something that works um, all the time. But yeah, essentially all the problem that I described with Hakuman is also present with Ragnar. Like I know a few basic routes, but I don't know the big boy routes. And that can cost me the game. Toby is, we are both two matches, but we won both two games, so the last game here will take the set. Okay, with Gauntlet Hades, they didn't punish as well. Okay, nice Jesus kick. Ah, wrong combo routing, I believe. Maybe mistiming, I'm not sure right now. Yeah, so essentially I got the live lead and I got the good position because I was able to roll out. Agreeable burst, I didn't want to take fatal mommy circular damage. Yeah, I don't get the. Uh, I'm not spaced well enough to get that. But yeah, uh, Aerial Death Side taking the game from a uh, round for me. So there's one round for me to win, and I win this set. So let's see if this is the round, or the round afterwards, or if Toby can make the comeback here. Okay, yeah, abusing the overhead. So don't know, uh, this is general fighting game wisdom. Uh, if your opponent doesn't know how to deal with something specific, then uh, just abuse it as much as you can. And 6B has definitely the Ach Achilles heel of uh, uh, Toby here. So better abuse it. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe purple grabbing though, but uh, didn't do that. 
Ah, but yeah, I get grabbed and returned back into the corner. But yeah, one hit, I'm one hit away from winning this. And I get purple grabbed, as I said this, but yeah, too greedy with the second purple grab and my JC takes the set. Nice win for Ragnar here. Finally, like you've seen him a few times in tournament runs, but he, he has always failed me. This time he didn't. And against, we are back against, uh, uh, can he beat Goku though? Sorry, I forgot his name for a little bit. And yeah, I believe a fairly strong Azrael player, not as strong as Razor. So I got a little bit of uh, matchup advantage probably, because yeah, I played a bit against Ray. Uh, he's definitely pretty much one of the strongest as well as in Europe. And actually I made this combo up on the fly. <laughs> a little bit proud about that because I don't know Kagura's uh, overdrive routing that well. Because for the most part I don't overdrive. Again, that's one, one thing that I wanted to uh, address, but um, Kagura definitely doesn't have the big rubbery overdrive like Ragnar does or Bang, or some of those characters, so uh, yeah, um, Burst can be the better alternative. I get the, C I, yeah, I get the uh, cross up dash with my Fafnir, securing me the first round. Let's see if the, how the next round fares. Yeah, another thing about this matchup in particular, um, okay, nice, I get the 2DA. Can I get the combo though? Yeah, I get the full combo. Nice, nice. And another C Fafnir on the cross up. Actually, invincible frames. Up on invincible frames. He's actually using, making good use of his dashes to hold my stuff. But it's obviously not enough. So, in theory, the Azrael Kagura matchup is definitely one that Kagura wins, I feel. Like, there's this big argument that Asriel can negate an A AORP and thus it's good for him. But, uh, yeah, Growler, the thing is, still represent the AORP and adjust if they absorb it too much. Because show, not showing the AORP in the first place means they need to worry about one stuff less. And so far he hasn't been showing me a single Growler, so I can just use it as in any other matchup. Ah, and I was too early on the Kadamos there, so I didn't get a combo out of that. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. Delayed Hydra, getting the 5A mash. If he has smashed, I believe 2A. I'm not sure if 2A of Asura is a low or has foot properties or anything. Because that's important to beat Hydra. Alternatively, if you know it's coming, then of course throw is always a good punish. Yeah, yeah, first Growler we've seen this set, definitely seeing that I don't respect as well that much second Growler, but that's the other big thing about Growler. If they Growler and they want to use the Fireball immediately, then there's a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trap card game going on here. Like you play in the hand to let them play into your hands. <laughs> Mind games. Ah, and yeah, see of me with him. This should be the round for Goku if he has a combo. And I believe he does. Ah no, he doesn't confirm into Super, but he still gets the round. Very well played from him, but of course I am still on the uh, on the burst advantage and I get his uh, strong round start. And I kinda see why people don't believe me when I say I'm a defensive Kagura. Because when I get an offense, I'm kinda nuts. Not as in anything is safe, but it's everything is scary. <laughs> it's definitely a big difference between Monkey and me. That when Monkey plays, then pretty much anything is safe and he gets all the small hits in. And in my case, everything is unsafe and if I get hit, they really, really hurt. Okay, nice backdash on the 2C. Little bit different timing and yeah, I would have gotten this. 
I'm gonna try to evade something again in this overdrive. Pretty risky at that situation. I believe maybe if I hold it then I could have won. I'm not sure at this point. And he gets a comeback because I don't have the burst anymore. You hate to see it but also very well played from Kenny beat Goku so definitely a big momentum swing. So let's see if I can recover or if he's gonna continue on his momentum. Ah, big missed opportunity not cancelling the counter hitch series into uh, 5DA because you can get quite a lot of damage without using RC there. And of course better, uh, uh, better position, better OP and so on. But still, uh, just very few combos are already enough. Yeah, I, I cash in with the overdrive, good choice. And this should be dead. Easy peasy. 5k out of a single common grab. You love to see it. Obviously, Kag uh, um, Tega can do that too. But Tega doesn't have the other strong tools that Kagura has. Kind of it. Ah, I get an accidental side switch. But yeah, it doesn't matter that much yet now. And I don't seem to be affected at all with the last round how it went. I just snucked off, snucked it off as yeah, I got robbed. And decided to do, to become the robber myself. Yeah, commentator's curse kinda, even though I'm looking at this in retrospect. Now I'm saying I'm doing the robbery and then I get a, a 5k co damage combo in. Rather he gets it in and I take it. Ignorant JC in action. And it takes me the game. I didn't deserve that uh, that round in the game. At that set. That was so scrubby from me and it worked. JC definitely a button of all time. It's called the fly, uh, fly sweater for a reason. Ah, if I had been a little bit faster on the pickup, that could have been big. But yeah, see Fafnir get back the momentum. Obviously, he's completely invincible during Growler, so using 2C doesn't really help there. Which makes sense. Imagine if uh, if he would play against uh, Mu and then all of a sudden, or Lambda, and they, they absorb a sword and... Uh, Lambda just goes for the Rekka series and hits him for that. That wouldn't be fair. And yeah, I'm up on match on set point. So yeah, he has to win quite a lot in a row if he wants to make it. But yeah, I say it and he gets a fatal. So he's really good at cashing out of from those or getting those in the first place. Like 5k mid screen? Respect. And I think even Mita less, so that's more than Kagura. But again, the big thing about Kagura, Kagura does big damage and Kagura does big damage pretty unconditionally. Whereas any other character kinda has some condition to meet if they want to do damage as big. But they can get uh, even bigger numbers in returns oftentimes. Okay. Uh, that said, so Kagura can dish out 9k damage. But yeah, I take this last round. And takes a set with it. Next up I'm against Fresh Dumbledore, Arakune beginner pen player. Um, kinda on the verge between but still more of a beginner. And I pick my bang this time. So again, the entire circus. We will see some Hakumen and even Noel later on. But for now, uh, we will. I've only seen, uh, shown my more known characters. Yeah, not converting much with uh, Bang most of the time. His routes are pretty difficult. I even see a dedicated Bang mains uh, dropping his routes all the time. Of course, I do use simpler routes and I haven't really done my research to actually get down what all his optimals are. I think I know the one with the general BNB. Oh, fatal. Can I get the expert combo 10? No, only 3k damage out of that. Too bad. Yeah, sadly not much uh, I can convert off when Arakun is crouching, but I could have spent Rapid Cancel 
there to get the big combos. And Ashura taking me the round. Very nice, very nice. My bank might be rusty and fairly beginnerish, but he can still put in some work. If I have a good day. <laughs> that is definitely one of those uh, heavy momentum characters because, yeah, I need a good day to operate him at a barely functional level. And Kagura, I can pretty much operate all the time, but of course, good days help. Obviously, they always help. And yeah, the matchup apparently, uh, obviously, is uh, Bang needs to chase down Arakuna. This is tricky movement, and one thing I've been abusing a bit is, uh, is Fresh Dumbledore's uh, habit of backdashing. So I could just run up and then do something like 2A and catch him. Of course, the backdash is pretty good against uh, 3C as we've seen here. But other times it didn't work out in his favor. With uh, Bang's uh, great movement speed especially. That was actually some nice uh, stagger because I was... Uh, yeah, I wanted to press there. Okay, gets another hit in. Yeah, I'm a little bit defensive here. And uh, for Stumbledore as Arakune, uh surprisingly aggressive. And ah, okay, he drops the combo. This would have been curse. But now. Okay, I didn't even use the nail there. <laughs> Kinda weird for me. But yeah, I take this round as well. So momentum is definitely in my favor. Like, I'm not really converting much, but I just get more hits in. Or rather, more and better hits. And that gives me the round. And most of the time when you see me uh, uh, high jump uh, nailing, then you can be sure that I try to TK Musasabi. I'm not really good with the input. And of course, TK Moons is one of those key inputs that you need to master if you want to be a good bank player, as uh, being able to um, air cancel pretty much any move. I mean, not any move on block, but almost any move on block uh, is pretty huge. And this grab secures me the second game. I'm up two games, only one game, and I win this set. So let's see if Fresh Dumbledore can make the proper adjustments and uh, get three games from me in a row. That's what he would need. Okay, I get the Fatal. He will decide to burst, which is understandable and makes sense. You don't want to uh, eat potentially up to probably 6.5k, but in my case I can only do like 5k if, I, if the stars align and I don't drop. <laughs> Nice. Gets a, a A nailless combo. Of course, yeah, that's the combo that I've been using instead of the BNB. And uh, while it definitely leaves 600 damage minimum out of the table, um, or rather 600 up to 600 damage with uh, poison, uh, it has the advantage of using one less nail. So at the very least, there's something to make it worthwhile. But yeah, meanwhile, Fresh Dumbledore did adapt and took the first round. I think it's definitely due to him not fumbling that much on combos. Yeah, I didn't get the micro dash there, so didn't get the full combo, but still a lot better than what I got before. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to 6D the low, but I was bad on the timing. That is a big problem with Spang that, yeah, his drives can be amazing, but for the most time it's consistently inconsistent, and that is what's holding lots of bank players down. Because, yeah, obviously you can get unlucky then a lot, 
It's uh, something that happened in the sets uh, me against Ancestor. I took the set, but mostly because I got lucky. He got unlucky, and that is definitely the load that is playing Bang in play. And the load is actually taking another round, so now I'm on set point. So Fresh Dumbledore needs to take this round if he wants to survive any longer. At this time, yeah, this is a big... It's not really an adjustment I've seen, but it's more like he gets not super consistent, but he gets better curse combos. And with that, he definitely gets me in a position more easily where he needs... where he wins the game. Also, I've seen the more... Uh, Six A's from here, uh, from him, I believe, and I didn't block them. He takes it out. He takes the game with a very convincing. Uh, yeah, he takes in a very convincing fashion with almost all of his health left with the JB. Okay, I'm on top of him, which is good. But yeah, again. 6A hitting me, and this should be somewhat good of curse. Yeah, full curse this time, which is pretty good. Full curse into slight curse combo. I don't really know if it's good to continue the combo there, just because you are wasting some of your curse meter, but Arcuna experts, please correct me in the comments and tell me what the good thing to do there is. Yeah, this looks okay, not entirely. Okay, but the Rapid and 3C gets me. Strong first round from Dumbledore. Definitely uh, on the verge of making the comeback. I need to focus, so... Uh, so I won't let that happen. Yeah, get, is 3C getting hit by bugs. Personally, one thing that I also notice when I compare him to other... Um, Hakuna players I have played before is that his uh, pressure and curse is not as disgusting as from those. So yeah, definitely also some uh, to play there. That was a horrible burst. I get a little bit out of it with the signature uh, bad BNB that I do. <laughs> um, yeah, essentially people always talk about Z BNB, but. Um, realistically speaking, the combo that you use most of the time is your BNB, and that's it. Like, yeah, other, other butter sandwiches might taste better, but uh, you made yours and you should be proud of your butter sandwich. Ah, yeah, and he gets me there with a low to a another game. Now it's actually... Last last game, in the, the last game in the set, and whoever takes this will take the set. Okay, I mean I get the poison at the very least. Okay, decide to burst as to not hit any uh, get any burst uh, curse meter. Which essentially, yeah, it's one of the things that you probably want to do with uh, Arcuna. Uh, deny his curse as much as possible, even if that means using resources. And this is definitely one of the stronger cloud patterns, like the one that follows you, and then the one that follows Arakune, are generally better in my opinion, of course it depends on the matchup. Okay, that was very ballsy for me. Didn't work out. So yeah, he definitely in a commanding spot, but I get a JB, a JD, a JC, <laughs> sorry, JC in, and, but yeah, I'm on top again, and the failed uh, Musasabi actually, the nail hitting, connecting, so it doesn't look like a complete drop, yeah, and I believe I cut it a lot shorter just to cash in, and I'm not sure, I don't think this kills. Yeah, this doesn't kill. <laughs> I tried to extend the combo, didn't work, but I get the air reset. You love or hate to see it. Definitely lucky there. 
Otherwise, this round could have done very differently. And now, I only need this last round to go in my favor, getting a bit of that la luck. So, uh, I'm not only loaded, so I don't have to <laughs> carry the load, but get carried by the load. Which is, which is kind of weird. But it does make sense in some way, like uh, with car transportation services, often, sometimes they drive the car, right? If they only have like one delivery to make. So that's definitely the kind of deal here. Okay, can I get the combo this time? No, I drop again. Definitely not consistent with anything. But I get the TK Musasabi at the very least and the cross up JB into the final combo finishes it. I had all the meter as well, so could have been taken another 1k damage. But yeah, nice set from Fresh Dumbledore and next we're up against Gefla, Gifla and with Gifla there was somewhat of a story, they were uh, somewhat demotivated about uh, their loss against Chrono. So I was like, okay, how good are you? And uh, he was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not good, uh, could we go? And we went on vo voice chat and so I decided to uh, bust out my Game 5 Noel, <laughs> who obviously isn't very good. I believe I'm already a lot better with her now, but a lot better still means fairly bad. <laughs> but uh, the reason I I, uh, I tried her out in the first place is my loss against Suka. Usually when I lose against a character, or sometimes when it's frustrating and stuff, then I try them out for myself and see, okay, how are they? And you no, know, I kinda clicked with me. I, I liked her combos in challenge in the trials. Still haven't finished all her trials, but uh, yeah, at the very least by now I'm cons fairly consistent with the normal trials. Still having trouble to remember what to press when, and this was obviously even more present here. As you see, my entire game plan is run up and get those JC into a revolver blaster, I believe it's called. The funny dance in the air. And yeah, the difficult thing about uh, Noel in particular is that uh, when your opponent is standing and you want to get a confirm, it's pretty difficult, almost near impossible depending on your starter. So you don't really get Oki afterwards and you can you probably your best get, bet is to get a reset. And I'm totally not used to that. So the only thing why this is not completely one-sided here is that uh, I have some I have some defensive backbone here. But other than that, you see my best combo so far have been 1.5k, <laughs> which is definitely not enough in any competitive fashion. Okay, this was actually a huge counter hit. That can lead to 5k plus. At least it does lead to 5k in challenge mode, so I believe that the optimized combos are a lot better. And actually taking that round by pure defense alone is something that makes me very happy. Definitely the confidence boost I needed to play Noel a little bit more. But I, here I get a fatal 3c, but no conversion. Yeah, at that point I could have gone for the shoulder tackle, but it didn't convert correctly again. This, at this point, I'm very unfamiliar with Noel. And I'm very happy in how good I do with her, for how unfamiliar I am with her. But also, of course, we don't want to downplay Gefla, he's doing a good job in executing Lambda's general game plan. And this should take the round. Yeah, actually he's hitting the uh, 3k damage combos, so it's a lambda BNBs. And yeah, seeing how this went, I went for the Haku man. I was like, okay, I need to play some character I'm a little bit more familiar with. So uh, yeah, Haku man it was also, I haven't shown Haku man so far and I was like, okay, if I'm gonna make this one hour video, people don't want to see uh, Kagura for one hour. I believe. <laughs> so pulling out my subs definitely is the thing is the way to go. 
I mean, subs might be a strong word here, but characters I play to some extent. Yeah, I went for 5D here. And actually, you see the confidence boosting Gafla in this round. Like, uh, bro is pressuring, pressuring me like crazy, zoning me out, uh, blocking in the right spots. So yeah, I'm definitely having a hard time getting in. Of course, that would have been quite a lot of damage. And yeah, good punish from me there. Back, a nice backdash, so I can't hit him with the JB. But yeah, it's not en also it's not enough for me. He takes this round as well. him in the corner. The, thing, the question is can I somehow make make it work in my favor. Again my Haku pressure is not that scary. I also believe that Hakuman's pressure is one of the weakest uh, parts of the character. But Yanagi still I had no Magatama left to convert into anything. It's probably not the best Yanagi. And and 5A missing definitely cost me the punish there. But not the round, fortunately enough. So yeah, similar to Noel, one round taken. So let's see if I can take a game with Hakuman. I mean, I have done so in, uh, in tournament, but that wasn't, that was against a different player and uh, again, probably a little less rusty than I'm ri right now. I don't play my subs that often, but yeah, I've got a commanding lead at the very least, so yeah, maybe we can make it happen. Okay, the 6B also working out, but yeah, you see the difference in 6Bs between him and Ragnar. Like, Ragnar gets unconditional 3k out of it and he just gets the bounce. <laughs> and still Hakuman players go for it all the time. And somehow, while I was talking, Gefla completely uh, taking over a leaf and evading my overhead with the overdrive. Very well played, he's up two points now. So yeah, of course I could sweat lot here and play the one and only Kagura, but I do play Ragnar again. I was like, okay, I won against Tobi with Ragnar, so maybe Ragnar can make something happen here. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit sad. If it was first to four, then I would definitely pull out the Kagura after my Ragnar was defeated. Or maybe even the Bang. <laughs> so it had to be first to five. Like, an all-star match. Actually pretty exciting, if you, if you think about it. Actually, you could make a uh, format out of that. But I don't know how many people would like that because there are not many players who play many different characters. And of course, yeah, my Ragnar is doing good uh, work in here. Again, this the high damage, which is fairly unconditional. Then getting the 6B uh, roll pick up which is also massive. So yeah, 6B, great button for Ragnar. In general, his B buttons are kinda crazy. I mean, it's not only the, G it's the B buttons, to be honest, it's more like uh, all his buttons are pretty good, but he lags a little bit in the mix-up department compared to other characters. But if you want, just want to play someone solid who is a little bit more aggressive than Jin, then go for our boy Ragnar, our hero. Okay, drops the combo unfortunately for them, unfortunately for me of course. Yeah, this time no e evasion, I was expecting the overhead. Yeah, I'm trying again with, uh, with the overdrive dodge, but I don't get it. Ragnar taking this, my first game in this set. 
but of course the Europe Euro rules uh, generally say don't switch character after you've won and I feel that's a good rule. I don't know if this is internationally this way and if this was even required for this event. Not that clear, but still I think it's a good rule to follow just to not deny people the comeback on a character. Like how are they supposed to, uh, to supposed to adjust if you just switch character every game? I mean, of course, that also puts you at a disadvantage. But at this point, I believe if if I wouldn't continue playing Ragnar, but now would go bang, then uh, this could go down south for them really quickly because they definitely doing some adjustment here. Actually, I didn't know that 3C can uh, hit, hit me out of the Gauntlet Haley startup. That is interesting, to say the least. Yeah, getting greedy with the purple grabs when a normal combo might have uh, probably not killed, but get me closer. And I believe that's why they wanted to get the purple grabs there to secure the kill. And yeah, they give La up a round in this. In this match is a set point for him. But again, it's Ragnar the Blood Edge. He he conquered all odds in the story mode, so he will also conquer all odds here. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, we don't we don't take those purple grabs. Oh, terrible burst, I don't get punished for it unfortunately. 6B coming in clutch. Good burst on their part. In general, like Burst is so strong for characters like Lambda and uh, Nu, who can just zone you out for days because you essentially they get their win condition for free. Whereas every other character is like, okay, I need to re-establish neutral. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm where I want to be. But of course, it's compensated in the salon who has. Oh, nice blocks, nice punish. And I take this round on a little bit more than a pixel, but only a slither of health left. Okay, counter hit. JC. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to switch sides all the time. Honestly, I don't think that's that good. I should rather try to keeps up the offense. Ah, no uh, roll catch either this time. Gets me with a low wrecker. <laughs> yeah, the classic Gauntlet hey, uh, Ga uh, Hells Fang uh, first hit into, uh, into grab. Another classic, the RC Gauntlet Hades into uh, air dash. JC, JD. Yeah, Gefler only having Slither of Health and JB. Ach, not JB. 6B securing me the game again, hitting them out of the air. Very nice. So we are on the last game of the set. Ragnar has put in some work again. He's the hero of this uh, round robin format for me, that's for sure. Definitely one character I should uh, try to do some research about and get better combos up. Because he's fun and I'm doing fairly well with him at this point. No, I tried to get the 6B roll catch but I wasn't spaced correctly. Get the 2B, the <laughs> he said. Okay. No, okay, I do take that. I was fe fearing I would uh, get purple throat. Okay, J five C taking the round. But yeah, I'm only one round away, but they got a strong start here. Ok, 
Okay, this time I go for, because it was blocked, I go for the J, for the 60 to get some plus frames. Okay. Spend meter. I don't know if that's advisable there. Because yeah, spending meter for only 3k combo doesn't seem like much. Again, meter spent <laughs> for a low damage in combo. But yeah, a misinputted uh, D Inferno Divider gets punished and Gefla takes the game, so we, uh, the round. So we are fine. Finally, in the last game, last round situation. Two versus two, who will take this particular set home? But yeah, very commanding round from Gefla. I'm not finding my way in. I need to make something happen here. Yeah, not that good, and the raw uh, distortion drive closes out the game with a perfect for Gefla. Yeah, that concludes the round robin for me. I personally got third with what you've seen so far. Make sure to check out the Hard Edge weeklies for more Blaze Blue action and Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown. Thank you so much for watching. Have a damn nice one. See you then. Bye bye.